Okay, it is Monday, President's Day. Yeah. Impressive. I need to do my roots. <laughs> Fat man. Hey guys. We are headed to Birmingham, UAB. Woo woo, immunologist. Woo I got, got a mask it up, Buttercup. I realized I didn't do my mask at Emory. That's where the CDC is. Yeah. Any hazels. We are under fog conditions. If you can't see, it is very foggy. So, and Fat Man was talking about there would be no punch buggies, no Mini Coopers, no smart cars, no Fiat. And I finally told him I needed something for UPS trucks. So, we're going to go back over the rules again. And I think, due to fog conditions, we need to go ahead and just cover all our bases because I can't see too good. So we're just going to go ahead and do it all now and get it done no. and out of the way. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm driving. Well, you're driving, so that means you ain't got to do nothing. Just keep driving. Okay, for those of you that are new, this is Fat Man. I'm Big Mama. Hey, how y'all doing? How's your mama and them? On road trips, you know, if you see a Volkswagen, you go punch buggy. Okay? Y'all that have been here, y'all know where this is going. Yeah. If you see a Mini Cooper, British boobies. If you see uh -uh. a Fiat, uh -uh. the Italians are coming. <laughs> Y'all know where I grabbed. Men love that. Men will ask their wives, have the Italians. Really? Yes. Uh. Yes. And so, oh, smart cars, brain farts. Yeah, yeah. And then I finally decided, okay, we've covered there, there. There. UPS trucks. Packages. They gotta be probed. <laughs> oh, just for exit only. He freaked out at the neurologist's office. There was this long, it looked like a knitting needle, didn't it? And he wasn't gonna stick it in here. Yeah, he's like, what are they gonna do with that? One of them was flat, and that's where they, like, ting you and, and do, like, your reflexes. But the sharp part was where he ran it, like, over my leg and over my foot. And did it feel different from my left leg to my right leg, which it did. Um, up toward my thigh, the sensation on my right was nothing like the sensation on my left. Anywho, all that being said... We were talking about it. I was going to get probed. <laughs> probed with that. And I'm like, hey, Lord, I hope not. And then they did. He handed me a gown and told me to take off my trousers, trousers down. I'm like, you need to buy me dinner first. <laughs> What's that big girl? And, and yet, you, what? <laughs> did y'all hear him? Say what you said again, but say it louder. We've seen big girl eat. That's why you take me to an all-you-can-eat buffet. We did that in Atlanta. We did. At the Drury Inn, it's all-you-can-eat. Hey, seriously, that is the best okay. way. Yeah, that's the best way of doing a hotel. Not sponsored. Wished it was, though. Drury... If y'all need a spokesperson, spokespeople, we're, we're the ones. That man, it's you, Big Mom. Yes, we could be your spokespeople. Yeah. I told him there were two little boys. We were getting on the elevator to go to breakfast. Hey, that was coming. Yeah, we was coming back. The room, mm. and we caught them on the elevator. That's right. They were going in. Oh, they had on their little swimsuits and their little swim vest, and their and dad was. Floaties. 
Yeah, they had their little floaties in their arms, and they were so excited. And, um, you know, because it's an indoor heated pool. And I told that man, I'm like, Dad, burn it. We should have done that with our kids when they were little, of taking them to a hotel that had an indoor pool and lied to them and told them, this is a water park. Because <laughs> they were all like, we never get to go to a water park or Six Flags or anything. How do, we could have come out cheap, taking them to a hotel for a night, and convincing them that that was a water park. Well, we could have done that in my room. Yes. Never left town. Yeah, never left town. Who would have known? Dead burn. <laughs> They old enough they would have caught on by now. Hey. I know. We missed our chance. Yeah. We got grandkids we could do it with though. Yeah. Well, one grandkid. We could adopt some more. Yeah, we could adopt some more. I need that sprinter van. The minibus. <laughs> the minibus. I used to always tease him, I wanted enough kids to qualify that we needed a minibus. Bus. Oh, no. We would, wouldn't you have what, if we could have afforded them, wouldn't you have wanted more? Yeah, we were both, if we could have afforded it. Yeah. What would have been your optimum number of kids? Uh, See, I was thinking like eight or ten. Yeah. In fact, we did go to the foster classes. We were going to be like foster parents. But everybody in the household had to agree. And Carol Beth said no. And because she said no, we could So there you go. And then it worked out great because then I got sick. So it, it worked out good. But we didn't get certified because I never would have been able to have taken care of any. So it, it all works out. Anywho, we are headed to Birmingham to the immunologist. I'm sure he's just going to do the same old, same old. I'll get blood work. Yeah, it's just a routine. It's my yearly check. Yeah. We might hit up Rustic Relics on the way back. We noticed a new sign for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got to hit an Aldi. We need milk and some supplies. I was going to do a Walmart pickup order. And I didn't know what time we were going to be heading back. So that didn't happen. What are you going to do? So there you go. There you go. I, mean, I forgot to do while we were in there. I miss my Care Bath buddy. I do miss Care Bath. We stopped and grabbed a bite at Durbin Farms in Clanton. They're known as Peach Country. Yeah. We did not get ice cream. We were good. We got sandwiches. They were all right. Mm. We got the Cuban. They were okay, but they were hard. Yeah. I'm not used to a hard sandwich. They, it was through a panini maker is what it was. Okay, anywho, yeah, I'm debating, we're talking about whacking that mess whacking off. it. Yeah, you said you like the curls. I like your curls. He does like my curls, and that's one reason why I don't want to whack them, but it is getting harder for me to, like, detangle it and do it and keep my arms up long enough to yeah oh, wow. so. I yeah because now we're here i did shut my door good didn't i yeah yeah okay
Any hazels. Now we've got to stop at Aldi in Prattville um, because I just haven't gone to the grocery store all weekend. Yeah. We ain't been home. We haven't been home, yeah. We have not been home. <laughs> we will be stopping at Aldi because I don't need that much. I kind of did a rough menu plan out of what was in my head that's in the freezer. So, and basically, didn't I say that I didn't really truly need anything for suppers? Yeah, it's basically just milk. We don't need produce per se. I do need some tomatoes. So I might need to make a little bit of a list so I'm not in, in there willy-nilly, huh? Well, we were going to do tacos one night. Oh, Gotta have tomatoes. And then I'll do sandwich, um, sandwiches. Well, sandwiches too. But uh, I'll do salads for my lunches. I was telling him tomorrow is going to be the only day I'm going to be at home. I wish I was at home. Tomorrow's going to be the only day I'm going to get to be at home. Um, Wednesday, I got to check back to the dentist. Um, Thursday, I've got my treatment in the chiropractor. I definitely need to go to the chiropractor. Hey, Friday, Care Beth has therapy. So, and we can't miss that. We can't change that appointment. Yeah, we've been shifted that way be around so much that it ain't funny. She needs to go. Um, doctor today went good. He has given me um, a month's worth of antibiotics just to have on hand. Right when I feel cold coming on, go ahead and start taking them. Um, don't wait. And that's what caused before it getting worse. I'm supposed to stay on them twice as long as the normal person. So right when I get like a sniffle or a sneeze or whatever, I'm supposed to go ahead and start my round of antibiotics. And I know, like I said, a lot of y'all had said that's why we have superbugs and all that. But for me, because I don't have an immune system anyway, I got to. So, Batman can have a cold one day and the next day he's fine basically. Well, you did get a good cold. Was it last year or this year? Last year. Because we're not too far into this year yet. I had I was last year and it's very rare I get a cold that makes me stay home. Yeah, yeah. And you had that one for two, three days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even when, for him to go to the doctor, mm, it's got to be yeah, so for yeah, that was that was a pretty I bad mean, cold you had. Everybody's so worried about, you know, hand sanitizers and all that. You know, before we had all that, you got natural oils in your skin that but... Yeah, you had that dirt on your hands and <laughs> You're probably right. I had no grease and grime on me. I mean, well, anybody back then, because we were all working in the dirt. <laughs> you didn't have the access of hand washing, of, you know, the, like you said, the hand sanitizers and the hand wipes and the this, that, and the others, and, you know. So, but we're headed to Aldi. There's Rebecca. Hey, freeze. Tell your dad. I get the job. Cool. And I also clean in here. Thank you. Do the dishes and all. Dusted. So, are you well, going to get like the night hours or? That's what we're planning. Oh, yay. That so can help you around the house. Yay. So she's gotten a new job in Prattville. It will be closer to home. It's a smaller facility. It's supposedly a nicer facility. 
with my little Gucci bag too. Yeah, that's just Alice Marie's. But she's trying to work it out where she gets better out or what well, different hours, and she could help me at home or like if I have, huh? Also go to school. Yeah, and she can go to school, and then yeah. So, yeah. Um. All right, our Aldi's we kept to a budget. We didn't need much. We didn't get much. So. I know he don't trust his pants. Um, two gallons of milk. We're just gonna do this on the fly. I had asparagus for a dollar seventy nine. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow night. These were ninety nine cents. We got two of those. The chicken bag I got from. The Cracker Barrel came in handy. Oh, Cracker wait. Um, we went yesterday. Um, not yesterday. Friday. No, Saturday. We went one day. Tomatoes, because one night we're doing tacos. I needed some more cooked butter. We're going to do hot dogs one night or one day for lunch. Um, I got some non-fat light yogurt. Um... I got some wheat thins. I got this with Miss Becca in mind and like a quick lunch or a quick supper. The chicken flavor fried rice. Um, we love chicken fried rice. Um, to make it easy on me, I splurged a dollar and seventy nine cents and got some paper plates. For lunches for me and Carol Beth. Um, oh, there you go. She loves. We got two some cat treats. Can you take those? He has some in the other room. I know. We went ahead and splurged. Try to keep one ahead. Um, and then I got the purple fabuloso because it smells so good. Yes. And then I got me the frost drinks. I get tired of the water all the time. But it's water, but it's flavored. Um, it's the only sparkling water that I like. I got the orange mango and then the black raspberry. They're only 49 cents, so I only get two. And that's my little splurge. So that was our Aldi haul. That was all we got. So, yeah, um, I'm going to put this stuff away, I'm going to go sit my honey in a chair, and I'm done for the day. I am so worn out, I'm so glad I don't have anywhere I gotta go tomorrow, because I swear to you, I couldn't, I can go ahead and tell you now, this body ain't going to be able to do nothing tomorrow. No I'm not planning on doing nothing tomorrow. No uh, yeah, no. So, she got to watch Pokemon last night. What did you think? That's cute. Um, the HBO thing going through the Hulu, though, did raise our Hulu rate to $20. Yeah. I thought y'all weren't paying Hulu, though. No, we paid. Brian, Brian was paying the HBO separate. Well, don't I? Anywho, alright, so I gotta get this stuff put away. I'm gonna crack the whip and let this one put it away. Hey, Miss Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you could get my cold stuff put away, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, for supper tonight, we are just kinda yo yoing it, and you're on your own. Um,. We actually went and helped my sister and her husband yesterday work on their bathroom again. She's they're remodeling their hall bathroom, um, and so Fat Man had to help set the toilet and um, try to get some of the plumbing ready as far as the vanity and that type thing. So, I'm going to put y'all right there. 
I'm just trying to clean off countertops. Um, I'm going to take Becca at her word as far as like helping me. Um, I made her put away groceries. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was one thing that we kind of discussed today was my fatigue scale. I had to answer, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how's your fatigue? Does it make you where you can't do what you used to do socially, housework-wise, all that fun good stuff? And, um, of course, I answered, you know, it is affecting my home. I mean, you know, it's affecting how I am socially. It's affecting how I am around the house. I mean, y'all, I used to be on top of everything um, organization-wise. I mean, I had, like, severe OCD as far as I still have all that thrift store stuff. Honey, used to, I was... Yeah, Martha Stewart go. Um, and now, mm -mm, no, no. Oh, I dreamed in label makers, you know what I'm saying? Um, and now, I will throw some Fritos at you um, and wish you all the luck in the world. Um, anywho, so, um, but she sent my sister sent home uh, leftovers. They had some wonderful cube steak yesterday afternoon and rice and um, black eyed peas and it was just all so good. So she sent home leftovers. Um, I did not I wasn't offended. I took them graciously. Um, I was thrilled to death to have them. Um, I got a few things I <clears throat> need to put in the dishwasher. Excuse me. I had to do a breathing test today. That was one of the things he was checking. And it shows instead of an obstruction, which it used to always show an obstruction. This time it showed, well, last time too, it showed more of a restriction. And that's where my muscles are compressing in. And he said that made sense. You know, with the stiff persons, it's making my muscles compress in. So, anywho, ever since I had to do that, um, I need to get bread out for tomorrow. Um, ever since I had to do that uh, breathing test, I have been coughing uh, like crazy. Um, and now I've done made my throat sore. So, but anywho, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I, we stopped at that Durban Farms, and I got that Cuban sandwich. I've had better Cuban sandwiches. It was done through a panini press, which was too hard. Um, I even brought half my sandwich home and I gave it to Becca and she had even made the comment that oh, it's on the hard side. Delicious flavor as far as the flavor goes. Um, Cubans are the ham and then uh, pork. Oh, my back is about to kill me and I've taken a diazepam and it's still killing me. Um, I had thought about canceling my chiropractor appointment because we have done spent so much money. Excuse me, medication wise, not medical, you know, medical wise. Um, and I don't know how much. Oh. <laughs> My MRI is going to be, um, we had to pay co-pays, we had to pay co-pays today. I mean, you know, come on now. Um, bread. I'm in here looking for bread. I also need to kind of check and see what we got, where we are. Like I said, I made a rough menu plan using, I'm in here getting bread. Um, 
using what I know we got in here. Um, I made a couple of things around. Hey, Doris. Hey, sweet girl. Hey, darling. Hey. Hey, good friend. Hey, good friend. Hey, good friend. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mom. This is Foxy. We call her mama. And then, the, don't sniff her butt. You're on camera. That's Miss Doris. We call her girlfriend. Don't know why. Hey, girlfriend. And she knows. She knows. Anywho, I'm in here getting a loaf of bread out. We have to weigh down our freezer since the boy landed on top of it. He, For those of you that are new, he fell through the ceiling. Yeah, that's where we had to patch. He fell through running wire. Yeah. I needed outside lighting. What are you going to do? Um, let your son fall through the ceiling. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> um... I'm just going to worry about all this stuff tomorrow. Um, it might even be Wednesday. Who knows? Um, I'm trying to think. I don't have anything tomorrow. Um, Becca has to go to her new job, do paperwork, get her scheduled, do all that fun stuff. So, yeah, um, I'm going to finish loading these dishes. I was halfway debating about making me, that's where I was going with my supper talk. Um, making me some leftovers, if there's any of that cube steak left over, because it was so good. Um, it really was. It was delicious. So, um, but then again, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry, da, 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 you know, what are you going to do? Um, I'm trying to clean up a little bit. I really need to sit down and either make a plan for tomorrow or just continue to just kind of decompress and chill for the night. Fat man told me to chill for the night. He's like, just don't even think about it. Don't worry about it. Don't do it. Um, I love how my children put dishes away. I'm not going to complain, though. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take the help graciously. Um, yeah, yeah so used to that would have bothered me to the point I'd take all of it out and I'd put it back in there correctly yeah nah, mm -mm. I'm fine with it I am so good with it yeah <laughs> yeah <sighs> um but anywho I think I am just going to go pop my honey. I'm going to get me some water. I am going to pop my honey back in my chair. And uh, I play this vlog. And y'all will see me tomorrow, muchachos. Um, I think I'd already said that. So, if you like what you've seen, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, yeah, yeah, um, we usually are a little bit more around, you know, our life probably is more exciting, I don't know, um, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to clean out my, yeah, um, but yeah, so hit that like and subscribe, um, we're trying to get to a thousand. We can't even hit 500. So share with your friends. Tell people. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, and we will see y'all tomorrow.